everybody, so guess who got to see Divergent early? Me and him. I can't believe you would just walk off set like that. That is so rude. So rude. I'm talking to your manager. Okay, so here's the backstory. It's very similar to the Hunger Games. Once the kids reach a certain age, they have to choose which faction they go into. Uh, Woodley, who plays Triss, comes from the Abney Nation, which is the Selfless Tribe, but switches to Dauntless, which is the Brave Tribe. The book is also loosely based on, on clans of the Alphane Moon and Divided Kingdom. First of all, you have to get over the fact that Triss looks nothing like Triss from the book. After that, the movie pretty much follows the book's premise. They spend a lot of time, most of the movie, um, going through the training, which is a big part of this first book. The bad part is that some of the characters get left behind in character development um, in the movie versus the book. And it's not like they didn't have enough time for this because it's, it's a pretty lengthy movie. I don't think this franchise compares to The Hunger Games. It's just not as well done. One, because it's somewhat of a ripoff. Next, I think Jennifer Lawrence really is the better actress. And three, the love story in Hunger Games made more sense. Falling for someone you grew up with and then meeting a new love interest works. Um, in Divergent, she's in a new faction and then she falls for someone. And it just, that whole love story feels very manufactured. I mean, if you go somewhere new and you're this scared, wouldn't you be like, oh, nope, nope, sorry, don't care how cute you are. I'm scared over here, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I just, I didn't, the love story for me, even in the book, never felt believable. Kate Winslet, though, adds a lot of street cred to this movie. I needed more of her because she can actually act. There were parts in the movie, the reason why I say that, there were parts in the movie where Woodley wasn't very Triss-like. And I think you get used to it after a while, but the more it goes on, the more it pretty much ruins the book-movie ratio. Because you really want the movie to come as close to the book as possible. These movies and books feel like a new trend. It's a watered-down dystopian world with a teenage heroine. If you're a hardcore science nerd, you might not love this movie. I also hate to say this, but the movie actually isn't as good as the book. And I know, I know everyone's gonna say, no, it's always true. But in this example, it, 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 it's true. Also, I won't tell you if Al's scene in, is in it or not, because like I said, no spoilers. On a scale of one to five, I give it three and a half Duffies. Hunger Games is better. I feel like that's the better franchise. It blows sparkling Edward out of the water. But if you're into like a teenage dystopian drama, this buds for you. All right, you guys, that's it for me. To quit the greatest show on earth, live long and prosper. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hope. If you do see it, if you do see the movie, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you how you liked it compared to the book. I don't know. It just feels a little it's it feels way more manufactured than than the book and to me the book already was kind of manufactured so all right bye first of all if you're running around singing a song about how you need to bow down bitches